Yo, what's up guys? And welcome back to the Keep It Techie channel where I break down tech in a way that's simple, practical, and can help you grow in this field. And today we're diving into some throwback tech, like way, way back. I'm talking about COBOL. Yep, the programming language your grandparents' bank still runs on. But what we're really talking about is how legacy systems, like those used in the Social Security Administration, can make it look like there's massive fraud happening when it's really just bad data and outdated infrastructure. So I created a full open source demo project that simulates how a system can show people who are 150 plus years old and still alive. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm in my GitHub page and I had this little project private for a good amount of time on my main system until I got everything working correctly. And the project is called COBOL SSN Age Checker. And it simulates a legacy database, just like what you'll find in a government system and checks for people over 150 years old who don't have a record date of death. Now I had so much fun creating this thing because before this video, I never touched COBOL before, and I didn't know they had a package you can install on Linux that allows you to emulate it. Now, just to cover a little bit more, the system flags those people as being alive. And in real life, this kind of glitch leads folks to claim there's rampant social security fraud. But spoiler alert, it's not fraud. It's just incomplete or poorly managed records. And it also doesn't mean that social security payments or going out to those people that have those incomplete records. So let me break it all down for you. I have a .dat file in there with fake social security records and I have a .cob file and this is the COBOL logic that parses the data. And then I have a build script to compile the COBOL program and then a run script as well. So let me scroll down a little bit right fast and show you guys. This is the only package that you need if you're using Ubuntu or Debian. It's GNU COBOL. And GNU COBOL is an open source COBOL compiler that translates COBOL code into C, then compiles it into GCC. And so it's perfect for running COBOL code on Linux systems. So you don't need one of those mainframes. Now I also break it all down on how to actually run it so you guys can set it up on your system and definitely check this out if you want to actually play around with it. And then also, if we click on this link right here, I created just a page with just some more information on it on my Keep It Techie website. As you can see, I built this on the fly because I completed everything. And so I thought it would be cool to add a demo page, so to speak, so people can actually see it in action, which is what I'm going to do with the video that I'm recording now. I'm going to put a short demo of it running down at the bottom of here and clear up this issue down here at the bottom that's showing this white bar. But anyway, feel free to check this out. It'll be updated in the next couple of days. You can get all the information from the GitHub page as well. And of course, I'll have both of these links down in the description of the video so you guys can download and play around with it in your blind too. Now, let me switch over to my virtual machine so I can show you guys a quick demo of this thing right now. What's up, y'all? If you've been watching my channel for a minute, you already know I stay talking about Linux. And if you're looking for a solid, reliable enterprise Linux distro, let me put you on to Rocky Linux. This is the go-to replacement for CentOS, and it's built for the community by the community. It's got everything you need for a stable and secure Linux experience, whether you're running servers, home labs, or enterprise workloads. And the best part is backed by CIQ, making sure it stays rock solid for the long haul. So if you're tired of these companies pulling a plug on your favorite distros, Rocky Linux is where you need to be. And I've covered Rocky Linux before, and trust me, it's worth checking out. So head over to rockylinux.org to learn more and get started. All right, so I'm connected to my virtual machine. This is Ubuntu 24.04. Let me switch back over to the website. And what you want to do is just hit the link, copy the link right here. And what we're going to use is git clone. And so let me switch back over to our virtual machine and type that out right fast. So let's type git clone and then let's go on and paste our link in there and press enter. And this will clone that repository down for us. And then also, like I said, we have to install the new COBOL. So let's type sudo apps 
First, you want to update your system. And if you need any upgrades, just go down and upgrade them. So let me put that in there as well. So let's go down and type in our pseudo password and wait for this to install our updates. Cause I think we have some updates on the system and then we can go through and install the new COBOL. All right, cool. So our updates are done. Let's go down and install the new COBOL. So let's go pseudo apps, install the new and press enter. We can get this going and almost done and boom we are done all right so the install is complete let's go down and clear the screen and and we can cd into our call ball demo folder right fast and one of the first things you need to do is make both of those scripts executable let me go down and ls these directories right fast so ls la and what we need to make executable is our build.sha as well as our run.sha so let's go down and run ch mods and then plus x and then you can specify more than one file so we're gonna go build that shot and then run that shot boom and so we're good there and now all we had to do is and actually before i build it and run it right fast let's ls dash la again so we can see that those are executable but yeah you want to check and make sure it's executable you'll see because the color changed and then also in the permissions area you'll see the x in there which means it's executable now all we had to do is run our build shot file press enter is to go through and compile it out for us and so that's done i know it gives a warning right there it says fortify source redefine this is the location of the previous definition and for some reason i couldn't get rid of this when i was testing it so just ignore those for right now but let's go down and run our script very right fast so let's go run that shaw press enter boom so it gives you just some examples of how cobalt can show that some people are still alive over the age of uh, 100 years old or 150 years old. And this is all based on this people.dat file. And actually, let's cat that out so you guys can see. So let's go cat and then people.dat press center. And you'll see this is the way it's all set up right in here. You'll see fake social security number, fake full name, as well as a birth date. And then it's supposed to be a death date after that. And so you'll see this one right here at the top for Isabella Davis was born in 1812. And if you go up here, it says it appears to be 213 years old and still alive. But that does not mean that social security checks are still going to Isabella. And social security wasn't even around then. So how can you send out a check before a program is even created? And if you wanna check out the logic, yeah, it took me a while to actually write this out. So let me cat out our score check that cobalt and press center and yeah this took me a while man i'm telling you like i said i've never used cobalt before and then one of the problems i ran into was understanding how to get cobalt to read that file and it has to be like in a certain format you see how it has those tabs in it it was just difficult but yeah it turned out pretty cool and i just thought i would share it with you guys and then also if you want to change some of the data in there feel free to within that people.file you can edit this information play around with it however you want and rerun it just to see something different you know what i'm saying but like i said this is exactly the kind of record problem that happens in real social security administration system when someone's deaf doesn't get properly reported or processed. Now, I'm not saying this is the actual system. This is just something I built on my own just to demonstrate how the program would actually look, at least the back end of it. And you guys can see how these mistakes can happen and people can report incorrect information to the public. Now, I built this to show that tech confusion is not proof of fraud. You got politicians, including people from the Trump administration saying things like, oh no, there's millions of dead people in social security. But when you look under the hood, it's legacy COBOL code where outdated databases and underfunded systems that are still processing this information. This isn't about fraud. It's about the need for modernization. Now, if you're getting into tech, this is a great way to understand how old school systems can still teach us modern lessons. So whether you're learning COBOL, scripting, Linux, or you just want to know how our infrastructure works, this is a real example. And for those of you into government or policy, this kind of demo helps show why we need to invest in better systems, not point fingers based on bad data. And as someone who worked in the IT field for years, let me tell you, this problem isn't always the user or the fraud. It's the code that never got replaced, the processes that never got automated, 
and the data that never got cleaned up. And that's one of the things I want to keep showing on the channel, not just the commands and the tools, but how tech impacts the world we live in. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go down and hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who keeps repeating misinformation. Let's hit them with some code and some facts. And like I said, the GitHub repo is in the description of the video. You can fork it, run it, and use it as part of your next class or tech talk. This is Josh. Keep it techie, reminding you to stay on your tech journey and stay educated. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's going to take effort. You'll have to grind. But think about this. The time is going to pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career. It's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.